Hi guys and welcome. If you want to build your own landing page or website, it's definitely better to use the website building platforms. And today in this video, I want to show you one of those. And as for me, it's one of the best platforms because everything is absolutely easy. Everything is simple. Everything is drag and drop. And all is pretty clear on this platform. That's what I want to show you in this video. And in the end, you will find out how to easily build it by yourself. And probably you may think that to build a landing page or website is definitely uh, difficult and you need to know coding, you need to know like web design. No, guys, it's absolutely simple, easy. And this is the main purpose of this video to show you that everything is absolutely um, simple and fast. So you will be able to build up your site or landing page literally under one hour so i don't want to make this video like one hour long or two hours long i saw those tutorials uh in uh internet in youtube and uh i just want to make this video as short as possible with the maximum value and that's why let's jump straight to business first uh you need to find the link in the description panel of this video press that link and jump to start page of this uh fantastic tool and uh, so we can be on the same page as it says then you need to start a free trial or uh, sign in and you'll be able to manage all the things so let's jump inside this is a dashboard here you'll see your list of your projects landing pages sites if you need to build a landing page just press create new landing page here in this spot you'll see that there are a lot of different templates and you can sort them by conversion rate, by most popular and newest uh, page type, like about and bio, checkout, consultation, incentive. It's already built. It's already done. And you just need to customize those uh, for uh, your own content, like for your uh, text, pictures, and your offers. Uh, and here you need to be as specific as possible to find the correct template for your industry and it will save you a lot of time of editing but actually the all the editing features are pretty the same and uh, that's what i want to show you uh, like let's use this template uh, and i'm gonna show you what's happening inside the editor here in this spot you need to give your page a name it can be name of your business it can be name of your brand uh, i um uh, i typed run just to show you it doesn't matter for my case but in your case it can uh, make sense and you can edit this right here because this is the name of your page and that's going to be an url uh, what do we have here this lead matter fantastic tool that shows how your uh, how your page will convert your visitors to customers and uh, you need to take care about this uh, lead matter was excellent not good not okay no, but excellent in that case it your page will be as efficient as possible and when you're gonna run ad campaigns you will not burn out all your budget uh just to trash okay layout sections widget styles and setting let's go uh, from the beginning layout you have your page layout here and everything built with the sections so you can add some sections if you want so uh, and there are tons of uh, pre-made sections for your uh convenience and like you just grab in one of those uh and you can switch it here or uh you can drag and drop this section to the spot where you can see a uh, drop here okay going back to layout and you see body footer blank and testimonials uh, if you don't need some some stuff like testimonials, you can delete it here or you can delete it from this spot. Okay, now we see that the order is not so pretty. Footer should be on the bottom. That's it. Let's make it clear. When you're gonna hover over the surface, you see that you have some elements that are pretty invisible like this uh, spacer here. And there's some kind of vertical line what are those so that means that you have two columns here on this layout and when you can see that uh when you press and just clicking on this body section you see that you can go to section style uh, and that the same thing you can do with this three dots button section settings 
and we have the headline and we have the third column yeah so we can add column or row from this spot or you can delete some things that you don't need in this layout uh so let's go to uh, let's go to this blank section and we see that uh there's a picture there is a picture on the background of this section just one section not entire page and this is the color of uh entire page this is background color of all uh page and i'm gonna show you where to change it but let's change uh, let's switch this image uh kick off your next phase of fitness with a free workout plan okay we can use the pictures that we uploaded previously we can use premium images from shutterstock and we can buy them straight here uh it's about eight dollars per picture and you can type um keywords to find that or you can upload it straight from your computer if you have your own content uh, so let's i don't know maybe this one yeah cool and you see it it looks pretty awesome it looks pretty great but there's one more thing about this pictures uh, you see image color overlay what does it mean let's use some uh gray color for example and you see this is the overlay of entire picture and if we change in the opacity you see that the this feed guy you see that this feed guy is out there and uh text is much more visible right now so we're gonna apply this color here and that looks great all right but we have this weird uh weird color for now and let's go to styles and you see the page background it lays here uh, we can switch it off or we can use the same color for example that we used here for overlay or we can add uh we can add some color to see the this previous color to be the same yeah that's it you see uh so what what can we do here we can add some widgets you see drag and drop widgets here to get started all right uh, what do we need here maybe we need to add some video here uh, from youtube uh, or uh, we need to apply a uh, text here uh, and we need a button like order now to be here yeah uh, the text is pretty unreadable so just double click on it grab it all change the style of this text uh change the color of this text and here you go everything that you can add it you can add it with this pencil button and it lays there you see the button you see the divider because we added the two columns uh with one row and two columns yeah and if you're gonna move this divider you see that uh, your button is reshaping itself all the elements are adaptable and this is pretty great so let's go to buttons and forms you see this uh, this button is pretty black and let's edit this button to be black also text is gonna be white uh, font is gonna be any font that we want and we're going to style we're making this uh, button bigger and we're making a gradient uh, but here on this uh, on this background the button is pretty invisible so let's switch the color of the background to white and text to black here you go you see and, and right now we have a pretty a pretty well done page with one style and everything is just fast and easy so we have uh, we have this button in uh, in our template and we have this button you see this button is unactive inactive and we need to add click event what does it mean no link options you're gonna have this red box with uh, a sign of inactive button in most cases it's gonna be the pop-up uh, you can create a new pop-up here or you can use the pop-up that is 
pre-built to this template and your email address to get your free workout plan i want to uh, i want to change some color here to maybe this gray or this black or any color actually that you want so you can change it all here uh, but most important part is edit integrations and we jump into this how you gonna get uh, lead notifications is gonna drop to your inbox of your uh, web um, web address of your email and you can add an external services like more services and uh, you see that there's an impressive list of interesting tools like MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, Contact, Contact, GetResponse. All those are uh, email marketing tools and you can integrate those tools to your website and all the new leads will drop straight to MailChimp account, for example, and you can work with that, uh, with that information. You can build your email list using this tools some of them has uh free plans uh, of email marketing uh like up to 100 leads or up, up to 100 clients maybe uh, or just you need to compare them and and you need to figure out what to do with them maybe you have enough money to build your own email marketing and that's cool so you can integrate one of those tools to uh, your site uh, or if you don't have account for MailChimp or GetResponse, you can connect everything with the Zapier and this is a fantastic tool. Uh, like Google Sheets, you can get notifications about new leads on your Google Sheets. And this is also great. So let's go forward. It's up to you. Maybe you need that. Maybe you don't. So fields. Do not add more than two fields. Here we have just an email and uh, let's add some first name. Let's move it up uh, don't do don't use the uh, three or more I'll show you like street address uh, you see we added four uh, four um, four layouts here and we have lead matter like okay so why is that happen because people are lazy and they don't want to complete this form if there's like tons of information to to type in you see excellent we changed that back so it's pretty enough to get the first name and email and what's gonna happen next what what's gonna happen when uh, somebody will complete the form like enter your email address to get your free workout plan maybe you have a PDF and you can add this PDF here to add a lead magnet so email a file uh, or link to visitors who completed the form you can make it straight here uh, external url landing page default lead pages thank you pages also options that you can use to um to like to make the end of this story yeah what's gonna happen uh maybe you're selling something maybe you need to make upsell so it's gonna be like external url so it's up to you it's up to your business and it's up to your ideas and your purposes so I showed you the layout, I showed you the sections, I showed you the widgets, I showed you the styles, and let's go to settings, uh, and this is pretty it. SEO, definitely you need your site to be visible to search engine machines, and here you have the page title, run, that is here, so you need to change this to your own. Uh, description and page keywords. If you don't want search engines to index this page, you need to press this flag on, but make sure it's off. Uh, when you trying to make uh, some business social if you want to share uh, your link to link to your landing page to some Facebook or Pinterest or some else place that how it will be displayed that's why you need to upload an image here also analytical information you definitely need to get analytical information from Google Analytics tracking ID that can be applied here language you can switch to one of those that's it that's just it guys uh as i promised i made this all fast i made this all under 20 minutes and i showed you how to manage things here and now i hope you get an idea of how to build it by yourself because everything is really easy and simple so don't forget to use a link in the description panel of this video to jump to the platform with a big discount for our subscribers for our friends from our team and uh uh start doing it right now because it's simple and easy and if you sit like one hour or two hours on editing uh, of your own website you're gonna get it 
uh, in the end. So that's a big, big thing, really. Everything is easy. Everything is simple. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this information was useful for you. So press like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.